C gang, C fam, what it do, man? It's your boy C Will back at it with another light, slight, slight, light video, man. You're me look in today's video, y'all. We're gonna be installing our custom US Speedo RT gauges, man. These are some white gauges. Um, I feel like the gauges that we have right now, regular black from the factory, cheap, you know what I'm saying? Like, Dodge really have ASS us, you know what I'm saying? Like, they really. They really dropped the ball on on the whole Dodge Charger 2019s at least. You know, uh, they could include a lot more, but they didn't. So that's why hey, we ain't doing stock, nothing like that. But we're going to keep pushing, keep pushing for all this custom stuff, man. So without further ado, if you're new to the channel, make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, man. Uh, I appreciate y'all support. Uh, let's look at the gauges, man. Let's do it. As y'all can see, we got the gauges right here, man. US Speedo gauges. Um very fast shipping you hear me quick shipping man let me pop these bad boys right here open for y'all so y'all can actually see them boom as y'all can see man we got the rt thing man like i said i already know i debashed my car but i'm not trying to make it look like a scat pack no I'm like um i have a rt i'm proud of my little rt you know what i mean look at this right here boy red and white gauges man I think that's gonna look real good man for real for real uh, as y'all can see too they also have instructions on how to install it whoop -de -whoop -de -whoop. but just wanted to give y'all a little light slight view of these gauges man because these things are i think they're gonna stand out quick they white red that rt too is really really smooth man rt is really smooth y'all for real for real so hey let's start taking this Whatever this thing is apart, man, and we're going to get to it. Honestly, I switched over to this tool right here, man. It's much more thicker, and it's, it's much more longer, too. So that'll definitely help y'all get get all the way into those grooves. Because I believe they have little, um, what is it, clips or, or pins or whatever in, like, each corner. So I already went in here, got it out. You know, now you just got to keep rotating your way up. All right, see gang, so now that we got this out, man, it's gonna be four bolts. So there's gonna be one up here in this corner, one oh, down here, and there's gonna be one over here. Let me try to zoom in on that thing, man, so y'all can see what I'm talking about, man. See that right there, that bolt, three. And then the last one is, boom, right there, four. So we can undo those bolts, man. Uh, those are pretty simple so let's get to those man get this thing out of here bro once we get this right here out and down uh you see this tab right here we want to push this tab in and then we want to wiggle this this uh i guess battery connector down or out so let's try to get to it man voila finally got that thing out man so once we get that out Shoot, we got the whole cluster out now, y'all. Sheesh, finally got that thing out, man. All right, see, gang, so now we got to get into removing the actual face off of the, the, the cluster. So with that being said, as y'all can see, I already started. Um, these things are here kind of like tricky, but I kind of got half already off, as y'all can see. I got half off, man. Excuse the chickens and I don't know, the dogs and stuff barking back here. But anyways, yeah. So all you basically gotta do, man, is pry these little things right here up. 
you don't want to break these clips y'all obviously because then your stuff won't be secure on the inside so yeah just go all the way around i'm not sure exactly how many they have but yeah now i'm just gonna do this other side man and yep we get into it y'all it's this not even a bad install just gotta be patient just like any other install i do so let's do it man Voila, good freaking magic. So y'all wanna take this piece right here, man. Be very careful with this dome piece right here, y'all. Cause if y'all mess around and crack this or break this, hey, I don't know how much it costs, but I know your boy C. Will ain't trying to be paying. So <laughs> no, sir, let's do it. Now I'm gonna place this right here face up, not face down on, on the face right here, face up so that, you know, it won't get no scratches. Also, I'm gonna I'm I'm clean this off too. As y'all can see, man, it's a little smudgy. Uh, it's been a whole year work, so I'm gonna place this right here down, dog. Oh. Now, next, we got the, the gauges, right? The gauges are obviously um, held by some kind of adhesive, right? But before we take off the gauges, y'all, we obviously have to take off these, uh, damn, whatever these things come, I forgot. I'm really slipping. But anyways, going through the instructions and all that y'all uh, all they said was like you got to go counterclockwise so not this way i was gonna go counterclockwise and you gotta pull up right so you're gonna turn up motion so hey we're gonna try it out man we're gonna we're gonna definitely see how how we go you hear me so let's try it out turn pick up Oh, okay, so we got one. Um, Y'all are gonna hear some kind of clicks, which is okay, I guess. Um, the clicks are okay. It's all good, I ain't even tripping on it. But um, yeah, I'm gonna put this right here off to the side. I know some people usually mark exactly where where it's, it's, it's supposed to be, blah, 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 blah. I kind of already have like a visual, y'all. Um, It's not like on the actual zero, but it's like a little bit past the zero, which is fine, I mean, I'm, I'm not about to take a, a whole pin and then mark right here or wherever it no nah, I'm not gonna do all that y'all I kind of have a good visual eye I wear glasses so that's that's light work slight work so let's get to this one right here too let me see take it go this way boom plain and simple y'all this is light slight man light slight install so I'm gonna just put this one off to the side too so left right left right that's too easy next we have our actual gauge clusters right so the gauge cluster is actually um held on with adhesive so you can really just take these off it don't matter if you voila boom got them off that's one so keep in mind miles per hour and blah 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 is on this side uh your rpms is on the right so rpm right blah 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 that's too easy so miles per hour left rpm right that's too easy and then same thing on this side and then another note y'all there's also this this little tab right here so you can never put it in backwards all right because it's obviously not gonna line up so that's good that we have this little tab right here y'all to just keep a keep us you know reminded that it's on the right side you know what i mean because some people are gonna put it on the wrong side which is okay but you know we just prying it up with our hand voila that's too easy man all right c gang c fam so as y'all can see man we got the new gauge dog yes sir that bit look good good yes sir we got the new gauge man on the back it's actually held on by some adhesive let me show y'all that man good adhesive boom so before we put it on bro 
just want to take off this adhesive tape right here yes sir take that bit off and like I said miles per hour is on this side RPMs right so it's on my right y'all left whatever the case is so you're gonna put this bad boy right here in of course y'all see this little this little notch right here we're gonna line it up boom line that bad boy right there up make sure that that we put the hole on the hole so like I said hole on the hole let's do it boom line it up nice voila press it down for a little while make sure everything is nice and copacetic that's my word now y'all copacetic man make sure everything is good in the hood boom and we got one gauge on bro let, let do the other one man this is easy bro anybody can do this kind of stuff man don't take your car to no shop learn from your boy c will you hear me that's too easy dog so like i said i'm gonna take this bad boy right here off boom we got rpms like i said right man check this gauge out man check this gauge out boy this thing look good she so yeah like i said we got our little mark right here this little notch thing we're gonna line them up hole on hole boom this bad boy gonna go uh oh I'm, I'm blocking everything bad boy gonna go right here boom line it up nice booyah push it down a little bit make sure everything is nice and sealed you know and voila man see will you got you some new gauges playboy Ooh, woo. new gauges playboy yes sir all right now we got to put back the whatchamacallit the damn these things right here man i'm having brain farts today y'all it is what it is so i guess now we got to put these right here back in it should be like the the exact same so i'ma demonstrate on this one right here just so we can we can both do it together put it in you heard that and then go down voila like so right underneath the zero that's too easy and then the other one same exact thing so we can start right here gonna go in make sure we all lined up see will and go in push it down and then keep going voila right underneath that zero y'all so right underneath the zero right underneath the zero man oh you know what i'm gonna go a little bit more that's too easy make sure we all the way in there voila underneath the zero underneath the zero man so now y'all we just finna put our four screws in a lot right now i'm about to clean this bad boy right here off so i'm gonna put some windex on them I'm gonna clean them off real good and then we're gonna put this right back on man. Alright, see gang. So we finally have our plug right here, right back in, man. Everything is back factory aligned, all that good stuff. So now what I'm finna do, I'm finna put this right here right back in. And I'm finna put these screws in. Uh y'all can barely see them. But yeah, man, let's get to it. All right, y'all, so before we actually put it in, man, I just wanna see if everything is working right. All right, y'all, so I'm currently in the whip, man. Um, just, just testing everything out, man, making sure everything nice and, you know what I mean, copacetic. I'm gonna give it a little gas just to make sure we good. Yes, sir, everything look like it's uh, all aligned and everything, man. Yes, sir. Boy out here, the white gauges, man. The RT, the red RT. Y'all see that thing, man? Come on, my mom, get out the way, baby. Beep, beep, get out the way. Beep, beep, get out the way. That's my man. Somebody, my mom, playing with me, bro. But yep, these things work good. They look good. Well, they're not all the way in yet, y'all, as y'all can see. But just wanted to give y'all a good view, man. Uh, all my. All my lights and stuff work, man. You know, see that blue light right there? Turning signal, turning signal, uh, seat belt, seat belt one, um, what else? You know what I mean? Four ways. So everything worked, y'all. You know I mean, so we good, dog. Let me put this back in, bro. Now, holla at y'all in a minute. Y'all. 
all right c gang c fam look that will conclude today's video you heard me hope i could have showed y'all everything y'all had wanted to see needed to see about changing out y'all gauge clusters man i feel like it's a really good accent to the car you have the little rt logo all that good stuff man um stay tuned for the next video man y'all i appreciate y'all for stopping in y'all new to the channel make sure y'all like subscribe comment you heard me um stay tuned for the next video man let's do it